attack on internal power was in the V3 throttle. Minus 15. Minus 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. to provide a flexible and realistic simulation of known threats. That is the mission of the Ryan Fire Bee target system. This challenging realism has enabled the Fire Bee to support the development and evaluation of increasingly sophisticated Air Force missile weapon systems since 1949. Ryan currently supports three Air Force weapon system evaluation programs from Kindle Air Force Base, Florida, Combat Pike for Air Defense Command, and Combat Echo for Tactical Air Command aircraft operating from Eglund and McDill Air Force bases. From Wallace Air Station, Philippines, Fire Bee targets fly missions supporting combat stage evaluations for fighter interceptors of the Pacific Air Force. Ryan has demonstrated an ability to respond quickly and efficiently to Air Force needs. The Wallace target operation was completed and flew operational Fire Bee missions in three months from contract to go ahead. For target operations, Ryan personnel provide complete support. Launch, remote control and tracking, recovery and refurbishment, pre-flight preparation and relaunch are accomplished by this highly specialized team of target experts. An outstanding record of efficiency and target reliability has been achieved in support of Air Force weapon evaluation programs. To determine weapon system effectiveness, to validate its effectiveness in the hands of the user in an operational environment, and to provide realistic training to maintain air crew efficiency, these are the primary requirements of a weapon system evaluation program. To accomplish these goals, an effective target responsive to these needs is essential. Fire Bee meets these needs. As an effective participant in weapon system evaluation, Fire Bee has a demonstrated flexibility in simulating various threats in the environment. Radar image size of the Fire Bee is varied electronically with a traveling wave tube. Even greater authenticity of the threat simulation can be achieved by using recent Ryan augmentation improvements. By creating an omnidirectional radar reflectivity coverage around the target, image size can be held constant, regardless of the attitude of the fire bee or that of the attacking aircraft. After a missile has been fired, a measurement of its accuracy must be obtained for the data collection and analysis function of the weapon system evaluation. This is made possible by the scoring systems carried in Fire B. MAPS, Multiple Airborne Trajectory Tracking System, and BIDOPS, by Doppler. Ryan can now provide practically error-free scoring from missile point of aim by co-locating scoring antennas with those of the traveling wave tube. Infrared signatures are augmented by flares or other heat sources by similarly locating scoring antennas at the flare attach points, 
precise scores can be obtained for heat-seeking weapon systems. The Fire Bee uses a radar low-altitude control system, RALAX, for low-altitude penetration simulations. With this system, Fire Bee can fly as low as 50 feet over water and 100 feet over flat land areas. An automatic formation flight control system is in development which will permit the Fire Bee to make multiple target presentations. Where maneuverability is a mandatory requirement of a weapon system evaluation, Fire Bee uses an increased maneuverability kit, IMK, which gives the target a constant altitude turn capability of up to 6 Gs. An improved version of this system will enable Fire Bee to execute high G climbing or diving course reversals. In addition to its other capabilities, Fire Bee can be equipped for ECM missions, to dispense chaff, or to provide electronic noise jamming and deception techniques. Ryan has developed and flight tested a new and even more challenging version of the Fire Bee, the supersonic Fire Bee 2, or BQM 34E. Fire Bee 2 has the capability to be even more responsive to the advances in current weapon systems and to satisfy requirements for future weapons programs. The BQM 34E flies in a clean configuration at Mach 1.1 at altitudes as low as 100 feet, Mach 1.8 up to 50,000 feet, and Mach 1.5 above 60,000 feet. This new target has a maneuvering capability of 5 Gs up to 20,000 feet and 2 to 3 Gs at higher altitudes. For extended range time at subsonic speed, 400 pounds of fuel is carried in a jettisonable external fuel tank. For subsonic missions, the BQM 34E flies at Mach 0.9. On tank jettison, the target translates to supersonic speeds relying on its internal fuel load of 278 pounds. Fire B2 can be air launched or ground launched. It is recovered using the same two-stage parachute system employed in the subsonic BQM 34A and retrieved by helicopter or boat or recovery and retrieval may be accomplished in a single operation using the mid-air retrieval system, MARS. Utilizing a specially equipped helicopter, mid-air pickup uses a modified parachute system in Fire B2, which allows the helo to pass over and engage a drogue chute. This takes the weight of the target on a load line and simultaneously disengages the main chute from the drone. The helo then winches the target up to a safe carry position for return to base. Mars permits a quick turnaround of the target for relaunch. To accomplish its variety of missions, the supersonic Fire B-2 is equipped with the same augmentations as the BQM-34A, except that antenna systems and external equipment have been adapted to the supersonic environment. However, kits such as IMK and RELAX, which are additive to the BQM-34A, are standard equipment in the supersonic Fire B-2, including a 20-watt traveling wave tube, which significantly increases the reflected radar image of the target. Air Force evaluation programs for weapon systems play a vital part in our nation's security. Ryan Aeronautical Company has served the Air Force for the past 20 years by providing realistic target systems to support these programs. This, then, is Ryan's commitment to continue our dedication to purpose and to retain our flexibility in the face of constantly changing requirements, thus maintaining the Fire B target system as a vital element in preparing the defenses of the nation.